Hey guys, it's Michael from Devoted to Vinyl, and in this video, we're going to be talking about how you can clean your vinyl records by hand successfully. So although people like vinyl records for nostalgic reasons, or because they think they have better sound quality, it's easy to forget that in order for your vinyl records to sound good, they need to be properly taken care of. Because when you buy a record, whether it's brand new or especially if it's used, there's probably going to be something on the surface of the record or in the record groove that you're going to want to remove in order for you to achieve the best sound quality possible. Because if you don't remove things like dust and dirt and leftover debris that's on the surface of your record, you're much more likely to hear things like pops and crackles while your record is playing. Now before we actually dive into the process of cleaning your records by hand, I want to let you know that cleaning your records is not a cure-all solution for your record problems. So if you purchased a record that has a lot of scratches and scuff marks and you could tell that it's impacting the sound quality when you're playing your records, well that's going to be something that, unfortunately, not even the best cleaning method will be able to fix. In this video, I'm going to show you how I clean my records by hand, but in the next video, I'm going to actually show you how you can use a record cleaning machine, specifically the Okinoki, to clean up your records properly. So without any further delay, let's dive a little bit deeper into how you can clean your records by hand. Now, because cleaning vinyl records can be a wet and sometimes messy process, make sure you lay down one or two towels on top of the table. Next, we're going to need something to place the records into once they're cleaned and need to dry. In this case, I'm going to use a plastic dish rack. Now, in order to clean records manually, I use two main things. Number one is microfiber rags, and number two is a custom-made cleaning solution. I purchased a handful of microfiber rags in bulk recently, and you can find these both online and offline pretty easily. Next is the cleaning solution. Your cleaning solution can be a custom mix that you've personally created. In my case, I like to use a combination of three things. Number one is I like to use one or two drops of fragrance-free dish soap. Number two is I like to use distilled water. And number three is I like to use a few drops of rubbing alcohol. I then mix all three of these components into a spray bottle. Next, I take the record that I want to clean and I place it on top of the towel. I then spray the first side of the record with the cleaning solution, making sure I get the record wet while leaving the label as dry as possible. Then, I take a clean microfiber rag and I wipe the record clockwise. I make sure I am applying a little bit of pressure to the record in order to ensure that the microfiber rag gets into the grooves as much as possible. I'll usually repeat this process a couple of times just to ensure I've cleaned the first side of the record as best as I can. Sometimes, I'll spray the record a second time with the cleaning solution. But this time around, I'll clean the record counterclockwise. Now, once this process is done, the record is usually fairly dry. If it is, I'll proceed to clean the other side of the record. If not, I'll place the record in the dish rack and begin cleaning the next record before I eventually come back to clean side two of the first record. So as you can see, cleaning your records by hand is a really quick and inexpensive process. So if you are on a budget, or you really just don't want to spend that much money on making sure your records are clean, this is a very good way to go about doing it so that you can make sure that your records are all set to go before you put them on your turntable. And if you actually do have a little bit more money to spend, definitely check out my next video where I'm going to be showing you how you can clean your vinyl records using a record cleaning machine. 
So that's about it guys. I hope you found this video to be insightful and enjoyable to watch and hopefully it helped you a little bit when it comes to cleaning your records. If it did, I would love it if you could hit the like button down below. I always appreciate that. And also make sure you subscribe to my channel devoted to vinyl if you want to be alerted immediately whenever a new video is released. And before I get out of here, I want to leave you guys with a question as always. Do you always clean your vinyl records before you play them? And if so, what's the best method of cleaning you found to be the most effective? Make sure you leave your comments down below. I can't wait to read what you guys have to say. Thank you again for watching, and I will see you in the next video. How do you clean the freaking records? I clean my records like this. Wax on, wax off. Wax on, wax off.